Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Feng from IIS Tsinghua University. It's my great honor to have an opportunity to present our paper, have a traffic analysis of approximate maxweight matching algorithms for input queued switches for performance 2020. This is joint work with my advisor, Professor Long Bo Huang. The outline of this video is that first I will introduce the motivation of our work as I will talk about the system model and the problem settings. After that, I will show me results of our paper. And finally, I will end up with the conclusion part. The unbiased switch model has been intensively studied owing to its importance uh, uh, in modeling and uh, studying the network scenarios, including high-speed routers, data center networks, and uh, various networks. And in such huge and uh, complicated networks, the objective is to find optimal scheduling policies uh, so as to achieve good throughput and delay performance while maintaining low complexity and uh, latency. A well-known scheduling algorithm for the input switch system is a maximum weight matching. Uh, which is known to be throughput optimal for scheduling in general medical networks, and it has good delay performance and uh, cheap optimal queue length in heavy traffic limit. Despite the attractive properties, MMM suffers from a high computational complexity of big O n cubed for uh, unbiased switch due to the need to compute a uh, maximum weighted matching every time slot to reduce the implementation complexity. Research has been conducted to design efficient approximation algorithms. So in this paper, we consider a class of approximate MWM with lower complexity and to understand the delay behavior of the scheduling policy. People usually evaluate the performance by increasing the arrival rate close to the boundary of the capacitor region, and this is called a heavy traffic limit. Therefore, in this paper, we consider such policy in the heavy traffic region uh, to further study the Q long scaling behavior. After I introduce the motivation, now we can talk about some details about the switch system that we are interested in. The unbiased switch system is assumed to be a discrete time network consisting of unsquared queues with an input ports and an output ports. At every time, a scheduler chooses a matching between the input ports and output ports to transmit one packet from each input port to its destination. If we use the matrix S to denote the schedule process, the element of S is either zero or one, and the matching constraints mean that the summation of each row or column of S will not exceed one. Here we use an equal to three as example, and the three times three permutation matrix is a feasible schedule. For a rubber process, we assume that it is all bounded by Mx and the RID across time and the different ports, and we also use vector lambda and the sigma square to denote the mean and the variance of arrival per set. And for the heavy traffic settings, it is well known that the capacitor region of the switch is a convex hall of the visible schedule S. And in this paper, we consider a general saturated case. We assume that the first N1 input ports and the first N2 output ports are saturated. And formally, we consider a point new on the boundary of the capacitor region. With only the first N1 and the N2 constraints are tight. And the system is indexed by epsilon with rival rate lambda like this. So when epsilon is close to zero, the lambda will approach the boundary of the capacitor region in the same manner as new. Before I show our main results, I list some related works about our papers. These are some works to analyze the throughput and the delay performance of MWI. And also here, research for low complexity policy are provided and mainly focus on throughput analysis. 
And finally, these are some papers about measured used for heavy traffic limit. The main difference between our paper and uh, such existing works are, firstly, we consider an approximate MWM policy in an expected sense compared to existing work, which only consider deterministic condition. For heavy traffic analysis, we consider a general saturated case, but most of prior work only apply to all ports are single port saturated. And thirdly, we develop a novel communication efficient algorithm with good delivery performance and can achieve throughput optimal. So having these preliminaries, now we are prepared to adopt the main results in our paper. They're briefly summarized as follows. We proposed an expected one APRX policy and then have, have a traffic analysis for such policy. Finally, we design an expected one APRX based algorithm for communication efficient purpose. First, let's see our proposed policy, expected one APRX. Uh, let's start with the definition of the weight of schedule. It is defined as the inner product of the Q length and the physical and the schedule process. And for MWM, it always chooses a schedule with maximal weight. And for our method, we select a policy pi. The requirement for pi is that the expected weight difference between pi and MWM can be bounded by a sublinear function i. This policy is motivated by one APRX in Shah's 2002's work, but they only consider the deterministic weight difference. By our generalization, expected one APRX can contain a class of randomized policies, such as TASS and uh, batch MWI. And in another paper, we show that expected one APRX can achieve 100% throughput. Knowing the definition of the proposed policy, now we can turn to the heavy traffic analysis result for such policy. This is one of main contents of our paper. These results contain two parts. Let's first introduce the theorem for state space caps. We first consider a con K N one two, which is bound by uh, EI and E2 dot J. EI is a vector with I row R1 and zero at rest. Similarly, E2 dot J is a vector with chase column R1 and zero at rest. Our theorem one states that for any beta larger than zero, the Steady state Q length satisfies the following inequality. State space caps means that for the subset K, the Q orthogonal K part will be neglected compared to dominant Q projection K part when epsilon is close to zero. Prior work established SSA result by proving that all moments of Q orthogonal K part will be bounded by a constant M which is independent of the epsilon. However, this cannot work for approximate MWM since we have additional approximate part. But from results of theorem one, we can have the following inequality when epsilon is close to zero. And from such inequality, we can see that Q orthogonal K part will be regarded as negligible compared to dominant part. Hence, we successfully build the SSC result. The main idea of proof is to use the drift method. We select drift function W like this, and uh, then follow the standard procedure of drift method, we can complete the proof. This drift function is inspired by Vaughn's work, but they only consider the fully saturated case. And uh, we notice that the drift function for MWM for example, the norm of Q orthogonal K part cannot work for our case. This is also the reason why prior SSA result cannot be used for approximate MWM. Having the SSA results, we can continue to have upper bound for the Q lungs in heavy traffic. We first consider a subspace S. The difference between S and K is that the coefficient here can be any real number. Our theorem 2 states that for any weight 
vector alpha, the following inequality satisfies. And uh, since k contains s, uh, s contains k, from SSC result, clapping, clapping to k also imply clapping to s. Hence, the part above the right line will also be neglected compared to this part. Therefore, the upper bound for vertical q lines will be very close to the part above the blue line. Above are other results for expected one a pair x. Below, we show that it can also be used to design communication efficient algorithm. Notice that in scenarios where the decision maker needs to collect Q information for a switch in a distributed system, for example, in a data center network, the Q loss updates at every time slot will be very expensive. Naturally, we will consider non instantaneous update settings. And in this paper, we propose an adaptive update scheme called MWM with adaptive update. This algorithm uh, contain two components. We use Q prime to denote the latest update uh, of Q lines collected by scheduler. And for scheduling part, the scheduler do MWM to Q prime at every time slot. And for Q lines update, we will select a function J as threshold. And at every time, the QIJ will check the difference between its current QLANs and the latest update. If it not exceeds the threshold, it will not update. Otherwise, QIJ will be transmitted to the scheduler. Here, J is a sublinear, non-decreasing, and concave function. From our proposition one, we can see that the MWM AU is also expected one APR X policy. Hence, it can be throughput optimal and the our heavy traffic upper bound can still hold. And we use numerical experiments to evaluate the delay performance <clears throat> and the communication saving for our proposed algorithm. From the left picture, we can see that our master achieves the same delay performance as MWM. And from right, we can see that it can significantly reduce the communication frequency. We also use simulations to check our heavy traffic upper bound. From theorem two, we obtain that uh, asymptotically upper bound for weighted Q lines, and it is as follows. And if we take log function on both sides, we have the uh, this theoretical line. From these pictures, we see that the lines obtained by our algorithms are very close to the theoretical line. And this validate our upper bound is quite tight. Since we have already shown all of the main contribution of our work, finally, I will end up this talk with the conclusion part. In this paper, firstly, we extend YPRX to an expected sense, and it contains a class of approximate uh, policies with uh, low complexity. The only study is a commonly used performance evaluation settings, the heavy traffic region. For, for the proposed policy, we build SSC results and uh, obtain a tight upper bound. Finally, we use expected one APRX to design a communication efficient algorithm called MWMAU. We show that it can achieve the same delayed performance as MWM and then it can significantly reduce communication frequency. That's all, thanks for watching.